Hello everyone, I am YouTube and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. We're going to talk to this man because he has something to do with my next companion quest, so boop boop. Nothing better than clocking off early and playing a few rounds of Celestial Jade. Sounds so excited about it. Alright, it's about the Dragon Lady? Yes, you have extraordinary skills and you earned her trust when you rescued her. Earned her trust? When did that happen? You rescued her from the Mara Struck. I'd say she's forever in your debt. If you go see her, I'm sure she won't run away. Here's the situation. Lady Bailu, the Vidyadra Dragon Lady, has escaped from the Alchemy Commission again. I'd say again because the Realm Keeping Commission has seen more than a few of her bad-tempered escapes. Vidyara? This must be your first time on the Sienjo. Oh boy. It's a long story. The Vidyadara is one of the three races that established the Sienjo Alliance. Their bloodline is different from us Sienjo natives. The Vidyadara are born with great vitality. The gift of the permanence, as they say. That's all you need to know. The rest is irrelevant to what's happening today. Uh, what does a Dragon Lady do exactly? A Dragon Lady isn't an official position. <laughs> People address her that way out of love. The Vidyadara High Elder, on the other hand, is a position similar to a chief. It's been passed down from generation to generation. But only the Vidyadara that possess draconic features and inherit the Dragonheart can be successors. And Miss Bailu is the Vidyadara's future High Elder on the Lotho. The rumor has always been that she can heal the wounded merely by touching them and shedding tears. She also studied medicine in the Alchemy Commission. That's why her other title is Healer Lady. She escaped? Was she imprisoned? Not imprisoned, exactly. Vidyadara customs are somewhat different from Sienjo native customs. Miss Bailu has incredible talents and is next in line to rule over the Vidyadara. It's normal that her people would want to keep a close eye on her. However, she also has somewhat of a free spirit. She always manages to find a way to escape her residence. I'm listening. It used to be the duty of the Realm Keeping Commission to go after her and take her back to the Alchemy Commission. But this time is different. Because of the Stellaron crisis, we're constantly short of manpower. Besides, even if we catch the Dragon Lady, we can't take her back anytime soon. I don't know if you heard, but someone locked down the Delves connected to the Alchemy Commission. Now nobody can get in or out. It's completely cut off. Something very fishy is going on. So how do I? How did the Dragon Lady get out? That's what I want to know. I guess she sneaked out before the Delves were locked down. She might even know what happened in the Alchemy Commission. But I saw doctors. And those doctors came from apothecaries and other Delves. I've asked them, and they don't have the slightest clue what's going on. Then is there really anything I can do? I'd like you to help with two things. First. Find the Dragon Lady and take care of her until the Alchemy Commission delves are reopened. Don't lose sight of her. Okay. The second thing might be a bit hard to understand. I want you to stop her from treating the Mara Struck. Can't the Realm Keeping Commission take care of her? Like I said, we don't have enough people. Okay. The Dragon Lady is smart. If we try to keep her in the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery, she'll sneak out the first chance she gets. <laughs> Trust me, it's happened before. Besides, it isn't a crime for her to run away from her residence. And even if it were, given her status, we couldn't exactly stick her in jail and throw away the key. You're the only person we can turn to. Uh, why stop her from treating the Mara truck? Being stricken with Mara isn't like catching a curable disease. All the healer lady can do is slow the process. It's not a disease? Take you short life species as an example. Do you consider aging a disease? No. Aging can be slowed, but it's still unavoidable. Mm. Just like being stricken with Mara for the people of the Sienjo. Unfortunately, becoming Mara struck is more terrifying than death. It's an inevitable curse in the blood of Sienjo natives. Then what can be done for them? The Sienjo has long had other methods. When Mara is about to strike, <laughs> The spirit fairs and judges of the Ten Lords Commission promptly take the afflicted away. It's not something the Alchemy Commission should be meddling in. Mara is scary, but it won't cause any harm if you have it under control. 
We have the Realm Keeping Commission and Cloud Knights here in Exalting Sanctum. More than enough to handle any eventuality. However, the Dragon Lady's Mara suppression could lead to Mara Struck falling under the Ten Lords Commission's radar. If we let her carry on, we'll have Mara Struck on every street corner. People will panic. Seeing as we're already dealing with one crisis, we need to be extra vigilant when dealing with the Mara Struck. This is not something that can be taken lightly. I see. Leave it to me. You're the distinguished guest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu Shen. As such, you'll also have the full trust of the Realm Keeping Commission. Oh, one more thing. There's a lot of suspicion surrounding the Alchemy Commission these days. If you discover someone from the Commission on the hunt for the Dragon Lady, watch your step. Um, it'll be a piece of cake. Great. Have a nice like the morning dew. All right, let's go then. Time to go find a dragon lady, I suppose. Oh, bye, Lou. I'm. Drop just... by the realm commission <laughs> if you need help. Oh, I get up there. I found her. <laughs> She's right above the fucking commission. Lady, bye, Lou. I told you to follow my plan. You draw attention when you use your powers. And we still have to take care of the matter at hand. I was only tending to the sick. Besides, you weren't even here just now. Where did you go? You know full well about my situation, Lady Bailu. If there are people from the Ten Lords Commission present in the plaza, then... Uh... Hello, Ten Lords Commission here. You're under arrest. No, the Ten... Ten Lords Commission? You're not a Ten Lord Spirit Fair. Why are you trying to frighten people? <laughs> I only escaped, I mean, left the Alchemy Commission for an official medical visit. There's nothing more to it, okay? The nurse here can vouch for me. Easy, Lady Bailu. He's clearly not from the Alchemy Commission either. Uh, then don't scare me like that. Huh. Wait a minute. I've seen you before, in the plaza. I was surrounded by all those Mara struck. You rescued me, right? It was you. You came just in time. Bansia, you said you don't know the way from here, right? This guy's no pushover. He'll be able to help. No, Lady Bailu. I don't trust him. Please leave us. Okay. Uh, I was asked by the Realm Keeping Commission to find Bailu. Tell the Realm Keeping Commission that Lady Bailu is in the Alchemy Commission's care, and not to meddle in other people's affairs. <gasps> you two, stop arguing! I think there's someone from the Alchemy Commission over there! You! Help us hide first! We'll talk later! Okay. Uh -huh. Come on, draw already. This room seems to be able to hide them from for a moment. Lady Bailu, this way. Coming! Help us get rid of him, please! We'll have plenty of time to talk later. Okay. Bailu and Banzia head in the room and lower their voices. Uh, I'll ask first, and then decide what to do. Okay. I don't believe you. You there! Excuse me. I want to ask you something. Uh. Make it quick, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> You're not the only one. Can you at least hear me out first? Have you seen a woman wearing an alchemy commission uniform? She was about the same height as you. I think she was heading towards the jetty. We walk the same path, but it would seem she's hiding from me. <laughs> Uh, I haven't seen anyone like that. Hmm. Very well, thank you. I'll head over to the jetty. You won't find the person you're looking for there. And why is that? Say, now that you know who I'm looking for, why don't you tell me who you are? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I guess we're fighting him. 
Oh god. <laughs> Lend me your strength. <laughs> to guard and defend. Crush them. Later. Welcome back. <laughs> Goodbye. In the lunar flame. You won't get away. Got some explosions. Try hard. Back again. Lend me your strength. And dead again. There's more to this alchemy commission, Doctor, than meets the eye. I wonder if I can glean more clues from him. Sample of Santa's medics. That's an alchemy commission doctor's uniform, all right. Dahao did say there were suspicions surrounding the alchemy commission. Let's check his pants pockets. Secrets are often scrunched up and shoved into pockets. Why not have a look? Check the pockets in the front. A jade abacus bracelet with the latest design that cannot be unlocked with a golden badge. Uh, I better take this. Let's check his jacket pockets. Things that cannot be put in uh, a wallet. You people would park from the outworld of Zanjo would have a wallet. No money has been found on this wallet. You can only see a folded photo inside of it. I better take this. Okay, take his shoes off. Hiding things in shoes is a classic method. Or maybe that's not necessary. It's totally necessary. I think it's... I don't check in. Okay. Golden badge and a letter. That's an alchemy commission, doctors. Dahao did say there was... Uh, Oh, that's it. Okay. Feels like I'm still missing an important clue. More investigation needed. Wait, what? I think that's the an alchemy though. commission. Dahao did say. Uh, pants pockets. Oh, the back. Pants pocket at the back. Piece of folded letter that reads: "Mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the Arbor's new growth, unity of Disciple Medicus, the Mortality's true path." Oh, I better take this. Uh, let's check check his jacket pockets again. Special but scrunch, scratched out prescription, which seems to have something to do with the Mars truck. I better take this. Okay, that's probably it then. Or. Ba ding! Ba -ba. Okay, cool. I found all the things. I killed a man. I can't run for some reason. I don't oh, yeah. believe in drugs. Nobody home! The person following you has been dealt with. Dealt with? Does that mean we're safe now? <sighs> we're coming out. After making sure that you're not pursued anymore, Bailu and Bezia walk out of the what room. What happened? That man wanted to catch me and take me back to the Alchemy Commission, right? I knew it! See? I told you this guy was trustworthy. Thank you for helping us. But I'm worried you being here could just complicate matters further. Please leave us be. That man was looking for you, Bonzia. Huh? Why were they looking for Miss Bonzia? That can't be right. They must have been looking for me. I have evidence. He's looking for an alchemy commission woman about the same height as me. Uh, how is that possible? How can I prove the doctor from the alchemy commission was looking for Bonzia? Do I look at all this stuff? Uh, let's see. Imagine representing justice might be shed some light that... I got it. it reminds me a bit of a. If it's a badge representing justice, it reminds me of Ace Attorney a bit. <laughs> Letter between the disciples. The correct words will only appear at the hands of the intended recipient. Okay. Uh, feeling for taking somewhere. Keep from caution. This is a precarious ease prospect. First man on the street. Is that her in the photo? Uh, blah, blah, blah. So it's probably her. This one then. We're in family photo. Nothing to see here. Wait a minute. I'll keep looking. Okay, fine. Maybe it's this prescription then. Thanks for prescription. Doesn't seem anything to do with Bonsia. Uh, does this prescription really have anything to do with Bonsia? I don't know. None of this shit has to do with Bonsia. Maybe it's this one. Disciple sending medics letter in case of Bonsia. This nurse who betrayed the disciple Santix Medicus has already escaped the Alchemy Commission delve. Here's the proof. Okay. <laughs> this letter. Wait. I've heard of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Aren't they those crazy followers that worship the Mara Strug and the Plague's author? But Bonsia's nothing like them. 
cheat, wanted me to treat the Mara struck. Lady Philo, you promised you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Wanted her to treat the Mara struck? Suspicious. Could she be a disciple of Sanctus Medicus? I wonder if I have any evidence. Um. Uh, guess this one. Oh. Wait a minute. God damn it. Prescription. This is a prescription from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Bailu, can you take a look? The handwriting on this prescription is exactly the same as the one you gave to me, Bansia. Are you really from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Huh? You're a liar! A great big liar! <sighs> I'm sorry, Lady Bailu. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Well... And that doctor from the Alchemy Commission was sent to catch me. But I... I never meant to harm Lady Bailu. Uh-huh. On the contrary, by taking her away from that place, I was protecting her. I made a deal with Lady Bailu before we escaped. We have an urgent task to complete. Please, don't take her away. I should ask Bailu what she thinks about all this first. Huh? Treating wounds and diseases is one thing. Curing the evils of humanity? There I was thinking, someone helped me escape the Alchemy Commission because they genuinely wanted to help me. Huh. Enough. Being angry will stunt my growth. Let's put this behind us. Is that really a thing? You've heard of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I don't know much. If it weren't for those scrolls in the Alchemy Commission's Elixir Research Terrace, I doubt anyone in the Shenshou would have heard of them. A long time ago, even by the standards of long-life species, the Shenshou eliminated an organization that worshipped the Plague's author. Why were they eliminated? Because they held an incredibly dangerous notion. Shinto people wanted to be released from the threat of Mara and return to the stability of life and death. Yet the disciples of Sanctus Medicus believe that being stricken with Mara was a blessing. A natural evolutionary step in casting off the mortal coil. Sounds great, right? Well, only if you think becoming a monster devoid of all humanity is a good thing. That's why the Cloud Knights and Ten Lords Commission cooperated to eliminate the organization. But just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. It's like eradicating a sickness. Easier to do when the symptoms are visible. In hindsight, not only did the disciples endure, they expanded the organization in secret. Just what does it mean to be Mara struck? The people of the Shenzhou have asked themselves that question thousands of times. Countless doctors and sages have dedicated their lives to researching a cure for the curse. Tragically, besides a few theories, no one has come to a definite conclusion. In truth, nobody in this world can fully comprehend the curse of the plague's author. And then why are you still treating the Mara struck? When symptoms strike, the Mara struck are quickly taken away by the spirit bearers and judges of the Ten Lords Commission. I just want to reduce their suffering and let them leave with dignity. But the people of the Realm Keeping Commission do have a point. What's the connection between the Alchemy Commission and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? How should I know? It's not like Commission members walk around with Disciple of Sanctus Medicus on their foreheads. I don't have any other questions. All right, Bonzia. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with Lady Bailu, but <laughs> I had no other choice. What what deal did you make with the Dragon Lady? I asked her to save my beloved. In return, I helped her escape from the Alchemy Commission. I broke many of the Vidyatara's laws, and the Alchemy Commission is bound to punish me. <clears throat> but I just can't let my beloved die. I still have some questions for you. I don't have much time left, but go ahead. Why did you hide all this from Bailu? I thought we would be fine after we escaped. I didn't know those people would come after us. I, I just couldn't find a way to tell her I was a disciple and about all the things I experienced there. You've been nice to me, but you shouldn't have kept me in the dark. 
I hate when grown-ups hide secrets and only tell you half the story. Whew, it's such a headache. Who is your beloved? His name is Leamu. He's a short-life species that requested an elixir. I used to think that the suffering of short-life species was nothing. But my heart... <laughs> my heart ached when I saw him in such pain. It's something I never expected to experience in my lifetime. Falling in love with a short-life species. <laughs> Such a bittersweet feeling. That's when I thought of Lady Bailu. The dragon lady that can heal mortals through tears alone. But it would take 30 years for her to treat all those in need. I had no choice but to come up with this plan. Please. Please forgive me. You said you didn't have much time left? I'm already showing symptoms of the Marastruck. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus regard the Marastruck as saints. They take all kinds of strange medicines to speed up the process. I was no exception. But since I met Leamu, I realized that these saints are horrible creatures. Even if I were to become immortal, to not recognize him, to forget him, or become something that he doesn't recognize. <laughs> That's why I stopped taking the medicines and escaped. Thanks to the Dragon Lady, I made it here safely. That's all I wanted to ask. Riley, do you want to go with her? Hmm. She hid everything from me. But I promised her I'd save her beloved. After all these years, I'm still not used to seeing people suffer. <laughs> Lady Bailu. Bansia. Tell us what you want to do next. I can't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus or the Ten Lords Commission find us. We need to find a way to get to Cloudford without drawing their attention. I have someone in mind. Okay. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't either. Except when they kill me in Demonologist. I'm Guang Da, an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. If you have an urgent issue, please go to the Chancery. Uh, uh huh? Aren't you the healer lady? Uh uh uh. Shh. I want to ask you a figure. <laughs> Kneel before the Dragon Lady. <laughs> the Xianzhou did away with all that nonsense eras ago. <sighs> if it's official business you're here about, you'll need to go to the Chancery. Da Hao and Song Yan should be there. I'm just an orderly. As for anything concerning the dragon lady, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. I'd like to take your ship to Cloudford. Hey, would you keep it down? You've got it wrong. That that's not my ship, it's my friend's. Sure. It my is. friend has a Star's <laughs> gift travel permit and can help you leave quickly. I'm not the one who owns the ship. Just cut to the chase. Can we take the ship or not? Yes, you can, but please keep it down. I can take you there if the price is right. I, uh, I mean, uh, my friend can take you there. So relax, hmm? How about it? Shall we set off? Let's go. Go to Clapper. Oh, it's a challenge. Okay. Let's do it. Assuming Bailu needs to be part of this? Nope. <laughs> I'll put her in there anyway, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Leonu, I must see him. Bansia, your symptoms are getting worse. I have some soothing tonic in my gourd. Would you like some before we set off? Thanks, Lady Bailu. But we can't delay any longer. Uh, isn't Cloudford a dock? Is this really the best place for the sick? I told Leonu to hide in a Cloudford shipping container. I couldn't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus find him. Why would the Saint disciples Sanctus Medicus know him? Because I promised Leon Mu I'd bring him an elixir of immortality. To make him one of the people of the Xianzhou like me. <gasps> you know that's one of the Xianzhou's ten unpardonable sins, right? Yes. But I knew nothing about the treachery of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus back then. 
I only knew that people in the Alchemy Commission were involved in ancient clandestine medicines, but I was wrong. It wasn't a blessing of immortality. Not even a poor imitation. They were turning humans into monsters, weren't they? Short-life species are expendable to those maniacs. They use them in experiments to develop their medicines. <laughs> I don't have much time left. And I only have one solution left. The short girly carrying a gourd around? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Lady Bailu, you still remember our deal, right? You helped me escape the Alchemy Commission. I saved your sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Bailu. The place we arranged to meet up is ahead. Let's go. Let's go. I okay. can't. I can't forget. I must get there. This is bad. She's starting to lose touch with reality. The soothing tonic might not work anymore. This calls for shock treatment. Okay. How can that be? Where is he? We agreed to meet here. My head. How can that be? Let her rest here for a while. I'll think of something. Try not to move, Banzia. But he's not here. We still need to find him. Nurse, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Doctors. Orders. Can you see if there are any clues nearby? I don't think Bansia's sweetheart would leave for no reason. Uh. What <laughs> do you guys not have phones? Are you talking about Jade Abacuses? We escaped the Alchemy Commission in a hurry. Didn't have time to bring them. Leave the patient to me. I'm the healer lady of the Alchemy Commission, after all. Let's start with this area, and see if we can find any clues nearby. Stay still. This ointment will help. <laughs> there was a day when all the other patients were lying in bed. But I found him painting a forest. I told him he was supposed to be resting. He said, I want to see the vast forests of Van Walk one day. And to make a dream a reality... <laughs> You must paint an invisible future. I must get well by any means, even if it means jail or exile. I never had anything I wanted to do. I just got on with my nursing work, day in and day out. Sometimes <laughs> I'd feel like a century was a pointless, trivial blink of an eye. And that it wouldn't matter if it was all over by the next blink. I wasn't interested in anything that had happened to me up to then. The things I'd experienced, <laughs> none of it mattered. But the moment I heard Liamu's words, <sighs> I suddenly felt sad. A person shouldn't feel that way about their life. They shouldn't be indifferent to the time they own. Liamu. <laughs> He opened my eyes. He was like... a shining star. Sorry. I don't quite understand this feeling. My lady, why do you always run away from the Alchemy Commission? Don't you like treating people? It's true. I was born with a gift for healing. But as for whether I like it or not... I couldn't tell you. I've been studying medicine for as long as I can remember. Nobody's ever asked me whether I like it. Those old Vidyadara fools don't care. And neither do I. Treating others is like eating and drinking for me. I don't have any feeling towards it. And if I had to choose, I think I'd say I hate it. But I like it when someone gets better after I treat them. So you need to pull yourself together. I think... I can understand you. 
Okay, then. Yeah, here's something. Oh, great. <clears throat> Bonzi, if you're reading this, it means you have come to find me. I have left this container and I'm hiding elsewhere. I have left my whereabouts on the back of the letter, and you should see some light marks if you dust it off. I really don't know how to describe the container's location, so I drew a rough sketch. A few days ago, you were worried that I would not be able to eat well or sleep well in the Cloudford due to my illness and sent me some Zane Show specialty snacks, quilts and pillows through Courier's eye cranes. While I was overjoyed, I also felt very guilty. How could I ever repay your kindness? What can I offer in return? Maybe it will take me hundreds of thousands of years to repay you. You know me, longevity is not my ultimate pursuit, unlike those elixir seekers. I have greater ambitions. Now with your help, my efforts have paid off and immortality is no longer out of my reach. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Back to business. I've cleaned. I cleaned. I, said, I cleaned up the traces of my life around the container because of dis, a disciple of Sentix Medicus came up to me, and it must be because of you. I am not angry, but excited. It means that you have succeeded, and we are one step closer to success. I'll hide in my next place. Call out for me when you arrive. After confirming that you are alone, I will come out. Don't blame me for being too cautious. I wouldn't be alive if I wasn't. It looks like Bonshia's sweetheart was tracked by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, and had to switch locations. I should go tell Bonshia and Bailu. Yeah. What happened? Did you find any clues? Hand over the note you picked up. Uh, uh, <coughs> the disciples of Sanctus Medicus already had their eye on this place. Oh. I just hope he's okay. Let's keep walking. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> no way. Do you know how bad your condition is? Don't worry. I'll find Young Mu and treat him. <laughs> Send Bonsia back to the apothecary in Starskip Haven. Uh, no. I know exactly how bad my condition is. Uh, that's why I've changed my mind. I want to see him one last time. You'll help me. Right? <sighs> I have a favor to ask you. Uh huh. You've seen for yourself how dangerous the Mara struck can be. If the time comes, please protect the Dragon Lady. I'll do what I must. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you say that. Okay. of a lot of disciples in the area just now. I'm a traitor to them. They won't stand idly by if they lay eyes on me. If you can't fend them off, just let me go with them. Does one traitor require so many people? I don't know why I can move this, but I guess we're going to do it. Eh, I'll fight these guys. Why not? I need, I need to get some blood, some adrenaline in my veins. This is, this is starting to bore me. <laughs> gotcha. Smash. All right, pick on the weak one. Let's see how it is. <laughs> now they're just beating the shit out of Bronny. <laughs> Okay. To guard and defend. Crush them. Man, auto battles. <laughs> really excessive sometimes. They're like, that guy has 10 health left. Like, Here's your ultimate. <laughs> it's like, no. Man, these guys are fast. Lend me your strength. You won't get away. You don't look so good. Okay, maybe I will use it. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Yeah, that time was actually good to use it. 
Because they had their turn. But... We shall take back what we lost. Alright, moving on. Uh... More shooty patooey. Poo! You won't get away. In lunar flame. Boop. Lend me your strength. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. The moon shines on the truth. Nicely done. Okay. Do not concern yourself with the outcome. I'm hearing some noises. What was this? If you're reading this, it means I'm once again hiding somewhere else now. Like last time I left my whereabouts on the back of the letter. This time I'm going to hide in the harbor, but I can't hide for long. I'm running out of hiding places. Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and Wardens of the Ten Lords Commission are all here, and I can't be found by either of them. In order not to be discovered by them, I left. I guess that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus are trying to most capture you and me in order to prevent the secret from being leaked. And the Wardens have seem to have received intel on the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and are looking for them at Cloudford. If I weren't an Elixir Seeker, I wouldn't come out and applaud the Ten Lords Commission. Uh, come find me as soon as possible. I can't wait to see you. As before, I will be in my next hiding place. Call out for me when I arrive. After confirming that you are alone by yourself, I will come out. Remember, come alone. I won't reveal myself for other people's presence. Okay. Lady Bailu, I can't go on anymore. Uh, he isn't waiting for us here. Did he hide somewhere else? He's at the harbor. Lady Bailu, watch out! Oh dear. There you are. Z clearly failed them. Oh, and if it isn't the dragon lady. Trying to make up for past sins, are we? Blah, blah, blah. I've heard enough out of you already. If it's a beating you want, allow me to do the honors. I'll deal with you in a moment, little girl. Men. Take the traitor and make sure you get the list from her. Don't even think about it. Am I visible to you or what? It felt that way until you opened your trap. Who are you? <laughs> Where is oh. everyone? Seize them! Are you giving me an order? You! Karmic atonement. A Ten Lords Commission, George? Oh, hello. Lend me your strength. Stop. Yeah. Okay, what was it? <laughs> I was hoping it would. This Ten Lords Commission judge packs a punch. But Bonsia, you. Shh, shh, shh. If she notices my symptoms, she won't hesitate. 
Why are the disciples of Sanctus Medicus pursuing you? Uh, we're just we're an Alchemy Commission rescue squad. I only see two of you in Alchemy Commission attire. You, girl, raise your head. You have a wandering look in your eyes. A Mara struck look, perhaps? Uh, help us, Miss Judge! We only just managed to escape before the Delves were locked down. Those evil men have been chasing us. Oh, Violet. Miss is so scared she can <laughs> barely stand. Hmm. Madam Shui the remnants of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been found in the southwest of Cloudford. This place isn't secure. You should leave immediately. Soldiers, see them on their way. Under the escort of Cloud Eyes, you are taken to a safe place That's in Cloudford. That's the strangest judge I've ever come across. Fancia, are you all right? <laughs> I made it this far. I won't go back without seeing him one last time. Let's go this way and see if we can avoid those Cloud Knights. Oh, this looks very familiar, as if I was just in this place in the last fucking mission I did. <laughs> they really do reuse old set pieces <laughs> for their missions, don't they? <laughs> I think this is the exact same dungeon, to be honest. Uh... A little something for everyone. There are Cloud Knights and Disciples of Sanctus Medicus over there. Ugh. We don't have time for them. There are armed villains up ahead. If you're not on duty here, return to the city for your own safety. Uh, uh, he's right behind that door. Uh, we're almost there. But there are Cloud Knights stationed there. Wait, I have an idea. Uh, Aaron got a good tear jerker. We don't have time for storytelling. Didn't we pass some soldiers resting on the way over here? You know, the place where the Cloud Knights and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus fought. Can we wear the Cloud Knight's armor? <sighs> you said it, not me. Hmm, a spot of emergency treatment in exchange for some armor. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> Let's do what Lady Bailu suggested. Oh. I need your armor. Gave medical treatment to the wounded cloud knights that have lost consciousness, then grabbed some armor and put it on. <coughs> There's no time to lose. Let's go. Just tell them your soldier's guiding me back to the Alchemy Commission. They won't know any better. Halt! What's with the kid? Uh, uh, surely, you know the healer lady of Alchemy Commission. Mm. She does have horns and a tail. You need to escort back her to the Alchemy Commission. I heard the dragon lady likes to sneak away from the commission, but I never thought I'd have the honor of seeing her in person. No, no! I haven't finished playing yet! I don't want to go back to the Alchemy Commission! Uh, <coughs> is the nearest maybe I should do the talking, ahead? Bonzia. <laughs> That's right. You don't seem very well, soldier. We have a military doctor up ahead. Mm. Don't worry. I have the dragon lady with me. I I still want to play. I'm hungry. So take me back. I don't want to go back. I'm not going. Are you back. acting as yourself? <laughs> is that Access what's granted. Good work, soldiers. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> How was that? Wasn't my acting amazing? Yes, Let it was. Let me tell you, a performance like that requires a lot of temper tantrum practice. That was incredible. Uh-huh. By the way, what's taking Bonsia so long? She's dead. <clears throat> Why can't I take off... My helmet! Oh, she's been turning. She's turning. Why is my voice 
like this. Why is he trying to take off the armor, but it fails? Sticks her so tightly it's a part Can of her body. Check? Uh. It like something's caught. Yeah, there's a lot more going on with your armor than just. <laughs> What's wrong? Has the Mara taken hold? That was quite. <coughs> sudden. But. I still remember him. And I remember both of you. Lady oh, Violet. Is this a result of your healing? <laughs> thank you. If it weren't for you, I... Don't thank me! It's my fault. I couldn't preserve you the way you were. You can't cure someone stricken with Mara. <laughs> it's already a miracle that I still have my senses. That I can talk to you. Hey. Do you still remember what I said earlier? If the time comes... Yes, I remember. Let's go. While I still have my senses. Oh, I actually cannot go any faster than this. Wait. I feel a bit dizzy. We're at the kill bonds here, aren't we? What should I do? Serious imbalances of yin and yang? Cold and heat? Um... <sighs> I just need a rest. <sighs> Lady Bailu. <sighs> Don't forget our deal. Stop calling it a deal! I made a promise. I'll heal him. Don't worry. I'll carry you. <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's because of me that all of you are in danger. Enough talk. Here, I'll pour the medicine through the helmet. Thank you, Lady Bailu. But I can't fill the gap between my skin and the helmet anymore. We've arrived. Is he not here either? He's cautious by nature. Do you remember his note? He told me to come alone. But you already... He won't show himself if you're here. <coughs> I'll call out to him. Please, you two, find somewhere to hide. Remember our promise. <laughs> I remember. I'll hide, sure. Let's go. I'm supposed to see him for the last time. Let's go. Uh, over here. Leon, <laughs> Monster! Alright, Bonzia, you gotta go. To guard and defend, crush them. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, <laughs> and I'm no <laughs> exception. Trust me. Damn. Alright, well, she's dead. Sorry. Uh, do you think she saw him one last time? 
Seems likely. I hope so. Let's keep heading in this direction until we find him. Oh, there he is, wait. Let's go around. Are you from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Or the Ten Lords Commission? Don't touch me! I didn't do anything! Valencia sent us. That's right. I'm here to heal you. <sighs> You're finally here. First, I was being chased by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Then I ran into the Cloud Knights. Then I thought I heard Bancia's voice, but I ran straight into a monster. <sighs> what a day. But if Bancia sent you, then... Where is she? Isn't she with you? What do you think? Should we tell him the truth? The Marstark monster just now was Bansia. What? That monster armed to the teeth? That was Bansia? You're lying. It's true. She had to disguise herself in order to meet you. How is that possible? Could you take me there? Just to confirm. I mean, you're not going to be able to recognize her, but okay. This is Bancha? This hideous creature? Hey! I know you're probably in shock, but... She's telling me everything that happened on the way over. In order to see Lingmi for the very last time, she donned the armor that she'd be taken off. She changed out of her original clothes, right? Ugh. There's no point in searching the body, then. Did she give you any secret boxes or letters? Search? For what? The elixir? You don't know? She left me with nothing. Was she playing me this whole time? Oh, God. What did she say she'd bring you? The list of the names of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. With that list, I'd be able to blackmail the disciples into giving me the elixir of immortality. Or I could submit the list to the Cloud Knights to avoid banishment from the Sian Cho. That woman promised me countless times. In the end, I finally trusted her. I genuinely thought she'd offer me change. But in the end, she failed at the most important hurdle. Or maybe she failed from the very beginning. Jeez. She probably lied to you, too. Is being immortal the most important thing for you? Of course not. I have more important matters in places other than the Sien Cho. Elixirs and immortality are just a means to an end. I won't stay on the lawful. Angie Bailu? Isn't she her sweetheart? <laughs> sweetheart? That was her wishful thinking. Um. I wasn't interested in the slightest. <laughs> no way. You thought so too? Heal. What? Let me heal you! So I never have to lay eyes on you again! Huh? <laughs> Just shut up and let Lady Bailu heal you! Ridiculous. That woman tricked all of us. You should have told her to take up. Shut your mouth! I will heal the outwolves, but grudgingly, compared to being Marstruck. Blah, blah, blah. Based on the treatment, you left Cloudford to ask the Cloud Nice to take care. God, why does it go away so quickly? Give me a fucking second to read it, Mihoyo. Jesus. You really just have to read that with your eyes, guys. I can't read it fast enough. I'm just getting sick and tired of trying. I'm so it wouldn't have helped him if he'd known. That wouldn't do. I made a promise to Bansia. I healed him. But for the next 30 years, he'll hiccup uncontrollably every day. Wow, damn. What? He deserved it. Yeah, he kind of did, yeah. It's perfect. Uh, anyway, you know any good hiding places? I'm still on the run. Uh, let's get some food in the Realm Keeping Commission. No! The Realm Keeping Commission people are polite, but they're always lecturing me. Hmm. The Xianzhou is still in a mess. I better stay in Starskip Haven for the time being. I'm sure there'll be fevers and headaches to take care of before long. Bansia asked me if I like treating people. Like I said, 
It's as easy as eating and drinking for me. I don't like or dislike it, but this whole incident has made me wish I knew more about the Mara struck. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe meet again at the food stalls of Starskip Haven. Bye. Yep, and I guess that's that was technically the quest before the uh the Alan or Our Mally event, but alright, well I guess that's it for that. Alright, well, thank you all for joining. Uh actually hold on a second. I think I'm out of companion missions. God damn it, come on. What the hell? Oh, God damn Alright. I am. Okay. So let's actually take a bit of time here to read all of my texts, which may unlock a new one. So let's 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 do it, I guess. I have a lot. <laughs> I think Don Hung is actually the one I need to do, but we'll uh, we'll we'll do his last, so. All right, I don't know if there's anything this important. So, uh, I tried fixing some other relevant recordings in Psycrate, and I found this part about Laucha. I left it with the Foursquare mirror. Please have a look when you can. However, I still lean towards Mr. Laucha having nothing to do with this. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just doing my job. All right, Sampo. Hello, good friend. Do you ever require any financial management services? I have a lot of products that can help with that. They're so versatile and robust. You can recoup your investment in one cycle. Any interest? New scam? What kind of new scam are you pulling this time? The Sampo kind? <laughs> You're funny. This is purely an investment plan. It's very stable. You can send me some money and try it out. If you lose money, I'll pay you back. How about that? I want to. Why is that the only option? But I have no money. Huh? You should have loved with that. <laughs> I have, I have other business to attend to. Catch up soon. Rude. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. One by Lou. You two. I want to ask. Do you know any ways to grow taller? I'm not the one asking, okay? I'm asking for a patient. Is this patient... Yourself? <laughs> Yo! Don't stick your nose in the healer lady's affairs. I'm the one asking here. Just give me an answer. Uh, drink more milk. I heard you just need to drink more milk. That's a myth. I already tried. <laughs> I drink puffer goat milk at all three meals. I have grown a total of zilch. You tried everything. It seems like you tried it all. Not really. That patient tried it. Nothing worked. I understand. I understand. Right. Hmm. La la la, ignoring you. <laughs> Jung Sun, okay. Hello, you two. My work on the Jan so draws to a close. Now I'm a tra Oh, this is this is the chick. No, this means you. Anyway. Uh, now I travel like me is about to start my next adventure. It's been a few fun few days, so I left you a little gift and a letter before I went away. I'm ready to pick up those from a Heron Express and Exalting Sanctum. You're leaving? But where are you going next? Jung Sun? Oh, wow. Just, okay. Hey, you two, I'm Luca. I heard from Oleg that you fought in the Fight Club too? Are you free tonight? Come and watch my match. No problem, I'll be there. That's a promise. One thing though, uh, something weird's happening lately in my matches. I kept going against fully armed vagrants and automatons. Can someone with weapons and missiles really count as a Fight Club fighter? Times have changed. And so the Fight Club has to keep up. Hmm, that's reasonable. Honestly, I also want to mod my robot arm to fire missiles. Hell yeah. <laughs> but that just feels like I'm away from the original vision of the Fight Club. I give up. No use overthinking it. No matter how the opponent chooses to fight, I will win. You can do it. Yay. <laughs> just remember to cheer for me. I like I like this little pom pom emotes. I really want that for my my own purposes. <laughs> you two, have you seen a Starskip themed immersion before? Young people like young people like you might like it. Uh, I'm having trouble choose. I heard there may like it. Any recommendations? Competitive managerial modification. There are many more subgenres. What do you like? I like modification. I want to mod my own stars gift. The driving experience is important to me as long as it appearance as a unique personality. I recommend Extreme Flight Skyline. 
technically it's still a competitive type of merger, it's just the modification system is too robust, so players love to customize their own stars kept inside. It's weakness. Well, aside from making you obsess over every detail in it, there's really isn't any. Tight. I'm gonna try it next time. Well Okay. Hi you two, I got your contact details from Miss Kingja. I'm trying to decide from my master's plans. By the rainbow, I feel like I'm overflowing with uh, with inspiration, I want to talk about someone. Yeah, I want to talk to someone about my ideas. Do you have the time? Have you tried? Have you tried Jinke? Jinke? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. <laughs> I have. She says she's too busy and doesn't have time, and I asked me to find you. Jing Jingse and being busy are like fire and ice. <laughs> What does that mean? Is that some new proverb? Fire and ice are so unrelated, they're practically incompatible. Please, I'm begging you, you two. I really need someone to supervise for me. I I'll definitely pay you for it. Alright. Oh, God damn it, Sampo. Hey, fam, help me forward this link. Are you earning money selling ancient relics with a bear market for the half of the first year? This kind of relic has been the most profitable. What if I refuse? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you help poor Sampo? Which relic was the most profitable? The article already wrote about it. It's ancient mobile phones. Those can put you in touch with ancient people after all. <laughs> and the older phone is, the phone is, the more ancient these people are. You've earned back your investment in the moment you bought one. It'll never go down in value. If you don't believe me, then I can give you one. I'll put it on your waiting list, but you have to wait about seven days. There's a waiting list for ancient relics? Yeah, only after the customer has put in an order can people go make... Make? Sorry, typo. I meant dig. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Another Yukong one. Hope it's okay to ask you two. Do you actually like what you do? Does it align with your dreams? Similar. Uh, pretty similar. I quite like my situation right now. Honestly, I never considered not working as a pilot. If my dad saw me now, he might yell at me for being a coward who ran away from the battlefield. Like your life, your choice, as long as it fulfills you. Yeah, I'm different from dad. I just have one wish for my child. It doesn't matter if she's ex unexceptional. I just hope she's safe and sound. Uh, your children should... Okay, yeah. I can't understand a parent's wishes, but your children should have a say, too. They're still young, after all. Some things can only be understood through experience, just like I did. So many years have passed. Okay, another Bailu. You do. I mean, it's made a huge discovery. Please elaborate, oh, miracle doctor. So... Berry pheasant skewers are vegetarian. I see. Trivia gained. But what does this mean? <laughs> this means... I can finally eat it with the remor without remorse. <laughs> Why do you say that? <gasps> I like sweet things, but I can't have sweet meals. So no matter how alluring the honey-colored caramel syrup covering the berry pheasant skewers looked, I didn't dare take a step closer. But the situation is now different now. Look at those mouth-watering colors. I can't take it. I'm getting hungry. I'm sneaking out to buy some. <laughs> Talk to you soon. <laughs> Say, have you heard of knowledge-sharing website named Nofinity? The myriad of topics on this website encompass a diverse range, leaving no stone unturned. Occasionally, I too receive invitations to answer some of the questions posted there. Look at this one. How can a leader maximize their direct reports and motivation to work? Why exactly do they want to invite me to answer this question? You're now standing leader, of course, as the Master Diviner managed to- Whoa. Uh, I can't read- oh, hold on. Actually. One second, guys. Covered harmonizing. I can't go back up until it stops again. Jeez, I answered super quickly. <laughs> Good, okay, Fushuan, stop! Stop! You're drowning me in words. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up a second. An outstanding leader, of course, as the Master Diviner managing the Divination Commission, a workplace question like this is a piece of cake for you. As the Master Diviner, you are highly experienced in the workplace, and other diviners rally around you in unity. Uh-huh. 
Naturally, to govern is to harmonize. Higher-ups and underlings must not encroach, lest those keen of sight be on the lookout and let those sharp of claws to go in the hunt. Let all use their greatest strength and all shall attain peace. The most important aspect of this workplace is to ensure everyone is employed to do what they do best and do not intrude upon each other's jobs. How can a leader maximize their direct reports and motivations to work? In fact, is, in fact, all about letting the right person do the right job. That's a pretty good answer. The answer is good as if it is. You can probably just copy and paste what you wrote, I think. I still need to think about this. Since they specifically invited me, they must also want examples from my own circumstances. Can you make Master Diviner Jinkuei's example? Jinkuei? Uh, she tries her absolute best at being lazy slacker, though I have my ways to deal with her. I fear she's truly lazy to the bone. In fact, she is making me want to post on no finity. How can one motivate a habitual slacker to do work? No, this example won't do. Mm -hmm. Let me ponder this a bit more. Okay, speaking of the devil, are you busy? You know, it's pretty quiet at work today. Want to chat? She's gone offline. Why did you go offline? Are you done with work? <laughs> Someone is behind me. <laughs> you know, if you were, if you were seen, what would happen? If you were seen, I don't know. Yeah, I will never be caught. Aren't I awesome? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> pay attention at work. You should pay attention at work. <laughs> this is so terrible. Oh. Hey, you two. Didn't you say you were getting nightmares lately? I have a treatment plan for you. This is the prescription. Thank you, Miracle Doctor. You're my savior. I'm just doing my job. Oh my god. How'd she type that so fast? Whoop. <laughs> Breakfast. A bowl of perfect goat belly bliss soup. Two pieces of hash browns. A deep fried dough stick with one tail of grilled chicken jumpstick meat. Lunch. Half a caddy of fragrant white rice. A plate of two grannies. Chins. Tofu. Two tusker wraps. A large cup of immortal's delight. Dinner. A serving of General's grilled stone calf burger. A serving of deep fried chicken wings. Two tails of... Yeller boulder cheese fries. Save it and remember to take your medicine according to time. Isn't this just a meal plan? I'm the healer or are you the healer? This is food therapy. I guarantee you will be happy for an entire post-treatment. Entire day post-treatment and happy people just don't have nightmares. Fam, I've been thinking about something. I think after being in the business for so long, I'm really tired. I want to quit. What do you think? This is a bad thing. I don't think it's good. That's a good idea. I can't think of what else you can do aside from scamming people. <laughs> You're so funny. I am still a traveling merchant in my daily hustle. It's not anything illegal. I just want to do small business and live a simple life. That sounds good to me. For that to happen, I have to have a ca have a capital. I got a shower. Talk to you soon. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. Friend? Hello? Are you really showering? <laughs> you two, I finally got a hold of you. I hear you came to the Lawfu from beyond the Alliance. Can you help me? I'm so annoyed. How come? Tell me. <laughs> I've been in the Lawfu cloud nights for a while now. Aside from the daily patrols, I, I pretty much have done nothing. When will I be able to come of Comp to Cloud Knight? Just patrol digital diligently and complete your daily tasks. You're competent enough. It's not like that. Everyone dreams of being a legend. I grew up listening to my mom talking about the heroes among the Cloud Knight's ranks, so it makes sense for me to dream of greatness. If you're so keen on helping people, why don't you join the Nameless? There will be requests, assignments every day, and it's almost impossible to finish them all. That's such a thrill! I want to be a nameless. Uh, what kind of requests are there? Can I have a look? Boop, boop, boop. What does turpitude mean? Oh, I found it. Why is the title of the assignment so high in gluten? It's highfalutin. Oh. It, oh, is it? You know a lot. It's hard being a nameless. <laughs> I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> Do you know of the Looking Bronze and Exalting Sanctum? The divination shop ran by Ruo... 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 Oh, sorry. I heard from the other diviners that the shop is quite popular amongst outworlders. Have you been to it? What do you think?
Rowa did the reading for me. She's super accurate. As expected. After all, she was once a divination commissioned diviner. You do have a favor to ask of you. Please go to divination and Rowa's shop whenever you pass through Exalting Sanctum, so she will get some business. That's the least I could do for her as her former boss. You want me to help your old employee's business? Sure, I can do that, but I can't ask why. It's because... I was... It was I who personally drove her out of the Divination Commission. The hexagram from the Matrix of Prescience show me that Rowe will be driven out of the Divination Commission by my own hands. I feared that implied she might be in mortal danger if she stayed in the Commission. Of course, I never told her this. I just told her that I divine this outcome between us. I can understand. Factual results determine everything, and there's no way to examine might have beens. Indeed, Rowe being safe and sound right now is the best evidence. I'm impressed that you're not surprised. The ways of divination are obscure and unpredictable. I was constantly confused for this first entry during which I studied divination. What if the Matrix of Princeans one told you to quit your job? Would you do that? If such a day comes, then I will do it. Please go make sure that you... Uh, please go make sure you go and see to her business. Okay? Geez, there's so many of these. <laughs> this is going to be a long post-episode thing here. That's fine. I haven't been here for... I haven't been here for so long. Untouched places are few and far between on the Lafu. Pigs or it didn't happen. I'm on top of the Jade Gate. <laughs> Problem is, how do you even get down from there? Actually, I can get on it. I can get off of it. I finally got yesterday's workload done, so I'm taking a break. I was going to send you a photo, but the signal is acting funny. Even text messages are coming in slower than usual. Oh. That's why on the text are not going through. I can finally enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Just when I thought nothing would go wrong. I'm leaving. Something to matter? A Psycrane delivered an official document. An emergency meeting is coming up. I gotta go back to the commission. Ugh. You can run from signals, but never Psycranes. Why are Psycranes so dashedly efficient? After all... Heron Express, we ship whatever you want. <laughs> ship. <laughs> At least text messages. Our god. Alright, I want to ask you a favor. I went to listen to Mr. Sion's storytelling after work, but he stopped at a cliffhanger. I can't take it. He's resuming tomorrow, but at an earlier time. I don't know if I'll be able to get there soon enough after work. If I can't make it, can you go and listen in my stead? Sure. If I haven't heard the story today, would I be able to understand anything tomorrow? Oh, the story today is about the Clyde Strider, and apparently they have a train. The train is like the Shanshell ships and can travel between worlds. It... Why does that sound familiar? Right? <laughs> That's why I'm asking for a favor. Mr. Sian said the Cloud Strider once arrived at a planet called Harlow. I was sucked into a huge conspiracy and even battled a massive Aromaton. Don't spoil whatever happens next to me. Next to me, uh, just tell me what Mr. Sian's version is tomorrow. Where's Harlow? Reload. So you don't know? Alright, looks like I still have to be there in person tomorrow to get the story. I'll tell you my story next time. Okay. <laughs> I want to drink sugary drinks. Could you please make more for me? Call the mess, recall, recall, recall. Huh? Why can't I recall that first one? My apologies. Please just pretend that you never saw that message. I messaged the wrong number. I didn't mean to ask you to buy me sugary drinks. I want sugary I want to drink sugary drinks is more than just a hint. It's a clear request. What do you want to drink, Master Diviner? It'll be my treat. Uh, never mind, it's my own mistake. I'll go buy it myself. Just so we're clear, I want to be drink the medicinal tea made by the Alchemy Commission and add the sugar to replenish the energy I lose when doing divinational calculations. And I can't keep up. Good goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh uh, different kinds of sugar drinks help my divination in different ways. Medicinal tea with fresh gooseberry contains a slight fruity tang and is very fragrant. It does wonders when I divine astronomical changes. Changes. A medicinal tea with puffer goat milk tastes silky and smooth and has a soft sweetness, perfect for when I simulate navigation routes. A medicinal tea with dates 
uh, chestnut and honey has a sweet sweetness dissolve into the bitter tea in fresh and invigorating ways suitable for when I browse the commission's vast library for information. Now, you won't get the wrong idea, right? You can just say that you'd like to, to drink sugary drinks. I like them too. No need to calculation as an excuse. Well, yes, I like sugary drinks. But it's also true that I drink them for my calculations. By the way, the Immortals Delight told sold by the sleepless Earl in Starsky of Haven is quite delicious. You should give it a try. Anyways, I shall head back to work now that I've finished my drink. Farewell. I'm from Serval. Me too, are you there? When I was cleaning, I found two coupons of the afternoon tea at the Goat Hotel. Do you want to come along? I would not let it go to waste for free. Just wait for me. It's date then. Whoever stands at the other up is a snow mouse. Let's be beside the lobby. I'll be waiting. Wait, when are we meeting? Hello? You there? Oh, it's actually a companion mission. Okay. Oh, we'll do that soon. You two, you there? I'm here. What's up? I suddenly remember there was one thing that caught my attention during this trip to the Lawfu. The Matrix of Prescience Ultimate at the Divination Commission. The Master Diviner used that thing to interrogate Kafka and saw right into her memories without Kafka even saying a word. So I was thinking... Could this matrix be used on me? It's worth asking. We might even be able to find your lost memories. Yes, yes! I want to ask about the Seat of Divine Foresight, but after thinking about it, I felt a little uneasy. The Lawfu had just experienced a huge incident. Jin Yuan is injured, and the Master Diviner needs to manage the whole place. I couldn't bring up this personal matter, so I thought I'd wait till she wasn't busy. And then we can go on the Divination Commission together to ask her. Uh, no problem. Let's meet at the Divination Commission. I knew it! You're the best! That's awesome, Commander Mission. Okay. Hey, have you registered for the new immersion that just came out? Come on, come, come be my buddy. Buddy. Oh, I call, I call those who play games of Slusher Jays with us buddies. But I was talking about the new Foxy and immersion called Viridian Soul. We call those buddies too. As long as you have a Jade Abacus, you can join too. It's very easy. Ah, I got it. It's basically a mobile game. What's a mobile game? I, I don't understand. Anyway, I've already registered. It's free. Now I can play it at work. You coming? I'll open up a friend room for us. Playing games will work. <laughs> Do you also play Celestial J when you're working? Working is tiring, okay? It really, it really releases stress. Just try it. Really? I'm not lying. With the number of people on the Express, it should be easy to find players. Enough players. You can teach everyone to learn after learning it, and you'll be able to play together. I'll send you the invite in a bit. Oh. Uh. Okay. Hey, we're getting down to the the meat of it. We're almost done. You two, are you busy these days? I'd like to ask you to accompany me on a certain task. Accompany you? Sounds serious. I want to meet the current High Elder, the Lawfu Vidyara. I want to ask about some bygone matters so that I will better understand what I can still do to make amends for my past life. Okay, I'll be there anytime you need me. Thank you. Let us meet the Sinwood Pavilion in Exalting Sanctum. Okay. okay. You two, come to the Divination Commission alone. I'll send you the coordinates. Don't tell anyone. Sincerely yours, Kafka. Oh, it's Kafka. Oh, okay. Kafka, how are you still in the law foo? I can't leave. I need your help. Blade, Blade's Mara symptoms are getting serious. I can't leave before he recovers. But you know, the bounty on this head has not been cancelled yet. He's still the top wanted criminal in the Zen show. I need you to Come find me. Where are you? Send me your coordinates. He'll be here. I'll wait. Okay. Another campaign mission. All right, here we go. This one too. Uh, yeah, we read this before. Uh, let me just read it again, just so we can clear our heads here. Our stars keep went off course. How's the transition? Uh, blah 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 blah. Oh, that's right. This was like during the main quest. Uh, we caught Kafka, but it was too easy. It was kind of odd. What about Kafka's companion? You see Blade? He ran away. Don't know where he is. Be careful. He's very dangerous. Shake off the cloud eyes and catch up to you. Wait, what's going on at your end? Okay. Oh. Is this not working for some fucking reason? Oh, maybe I have to do the other companion mission. Alright, so we locked a whole bunch of shit. Uh, God, it 
keeps doing that. Stop. Oh, man. All right. All right. So thank you all for joining me uh, for that little text adventure. Uh, we'll join back in. We'll do some of these companion missions because apparently it never ends. So <laughs> I love you all and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Mwah. Love you. See ya.